This is How to Play a Piano Man by Billy Joel. We have three main sections to this song. We have that very jazzy piano intro, which is quite advanced, but then we have a very simple um, chord progression throughout all the verses. It should be very quick and simple for you guys to learn, kind of in this style. And then we have um, this secondary section, which is so beautiful, um, it goes like this. So we're going to be keeping this really accessible to all the beginners out there that just want to learn the basic chords. Therefore, we'll be starting off with the chords and covering the other sections, the harder sections, towards the end of the tutorial. Quick links are in the description. Please subscribe to this Andy Piano YouTube channel. We'll have new uploads coming every Thursday from now on, at least. But starting with the easy section. Uh, so we have a C major chord, which the standard way to play that would be uh, with the triad in the right hand using the thumb, the middle finger and the little finger, and then the thumb in the bass, and that thumb in the left hand is going to work its way down, okay, and then swap and keep going, um, then to F sharp, but essentially coming down from the C note, which is one octave below middle C, this is the middle C exactly in the middle of your keyboard or piano and uh, it's going to work down from that C so that's what's happening in the left hand first of all in the right hand um, Billy Joel would generally play this with kind of four notes at a time which is a big stretch with that right hand so we're not going to cover that uh, we're going to cover this way of playing it which is coming down from the stand at the first chord any keyboard or piano player would learn the C major triad and then moving down to the G chord in this, this fashion to F and then C and in the left hand the notes just work down one finger at a time from the C to the G note together that would sound like one two three and four we keep going from there, we go to an F, back to a C, but we have an E in the bass, so that would be so that would be C slash B. And then we've got uh, the one sharp we're going to play in this song for the D major chord, but played with an F sharp in the bass, finishing on the G. So a simple progression if you're used to chords and playing songs in the key of C, which if you want to be able to play this song, that is would be my recommendation for you. Loads of tutorials coming on that kind of thing on this Andy Piano YouTube channel. That was chord number one, the C major. G major with a B in the bass, so G slash B. F slash A, because we've got A in the bass, but an F in the right hand. C slash G. It's a C chord in the right hand. F with an F in the left hand. E in the bass, C in the right hand, which means we're playing a C over E. Then we come to the only sharp note that we have in this whole song, which is for the, the D major chord, but it's an F sharp in the bass, in the left hand. Finishing on the G chord, and that gives us our full sequence which would go like this. C chord, G with a B in the bass, F chord with an A note in the left hand, C chord over the G, G in the left hand, F, C with an E in the bass, F sharp, and then The rhythm is super simple. We have the left hand and then right, right. Left, right, right, left, right, right. Left, right, right. Left, right, right. And then we change chord every time. Second time. Slight difference. At the end of the progression. 
The sustain pedal is so important with songs like this. Lift off of the sustain pedal when you hit your left hand, press it down when you hit your right. Simple as that. So lift, press it down, and then the sustain carries over until you get to that next chord. That is the simplest way. simplest way to explain what's going on there and that will get you through every verse in this song and then we get to this little musical inter interlude so beautiful this little section here that section okay it's really quite simple but the chords first of all this is the only part where there's no way around it we kind of need this Four notes, uh, four notes pressed down with one hand. This is a hell of a stretch. Keep your elbow in and extend that little finger and you should be able to do it. C major triad with the little finger. The second chord, the thumb and the little finger are always playing the C notes. We have the F and then we have G and then we work back down with that first finger. And with the sustain pedal, Last part, I think Billy would keep that little finger there because he's absolutely incredible. To make it easier, we can just work down with that first finger in that fashion. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three to finish off with. The left hand. That's what's happening. It's all with the thumb together. Two, three, and it's the right hand that has the pattern. First time we hit everything, and then we work up thumb to little finger. That's on the C chord, in the musical interlude section. Then for the F, or the F over C, all the way up and then back to your thumb, back to the C note. Same pattern as that on the G, or a kind of a, a C major 7 I guess, but when we hit that G note with the, um, the first finger there, and then working back down with the thumbs and first finger together. Part. Let me do it really slow for you. Three, four. Okay. Only other section that has chords in it for this song is just that little. Um, Just chords wise, we have that A minor, C over G, D major, and F. Similar pattern again, A minor, C over G, F sharp, G to finish, walking down with that left hand, and if you were going to go for that straight into the next verse you could even do you know the the c with the left hand there if we're stepping down with the pattern that we've done before three four pedal with the right foot, pressing it down to extend just the chords. 
That will take us to this beautiful introduction. Really lovely. In the left hand, we have a D minor 7. So D minor, thumb on the C note there. Then change into this diminished chord, which it's an optional thumb on this one. I've seen this taught just with three notes like this, but I can hear a hint of, of this note. But that was um, that would take us through all of that intro. They're the only two chords that are played with the left hand. The right hand, first of all, starts off as a arpeggio of kind of an A minor seven chord. From the little finger, it is then chromatic down every note one at a time. And there's a little exercise. It's well worth working on, just a little. Having that thumb stepping there. But the stretch going up is difficult because it's so fast going. Not only there, but then down the next notes. But the fingering, the thumb. I would play this with the thumb sliding, first finger, middle finger, little finger to middle, first thumb, then middle, thumb, middle, thumb. That would get us over that first chord. And it is so fast for just the... It kind of does the first bit fast and then slows down towards the end. It's very slick, so that takes... It does take a little bit of drilling, and it is a stretch. Um, over the next chord, this bit was tricky. First time I was trying it. From the B-flat note. First finger, middle finger, little. That happens twice. Thumb, first, second finger, same pattern here, happens here. That was bad actually, should go with the thumb there, probably. So that was, one, two, three. <laughs> keep doing that. Let's keep it properly. So in context, I'm doing that bad, I should do that with the thumb, I guess. Yeah, I'd probably go under with the thumb. So well worth that little exercise, and that would get us into To move on from there, you would be doing some octaves perhaps. Octaves with the left hand, four finger grips with the right hand, or, or four note kind of um, patterns with the right hand. But that is the bare bones of Billy Joel and Piano Man. Such a classic song. I hope I've helped you a little bit. Please subscribe to this Andy Piano YouTube channel. We'll have new songs and new lessons coming every Thursday from now on, at least. I've got a few little courses planned and some extra stuff on andypiano.co.uk. Let me know your song requests in the comments below, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.